Hello! Today I'm showing you how to make a grapefruit cane and for that I started to make some translucent clay, I use Fimo, with a dark pink mix, just a bit. I then proceed to start forming a teardrop because I'm making the slice, I'm just starting with one slice of the grapefruit. You can use that technique for all citrus canes, you just need to change and adjust the colors, quite obviously. I then put some white around the slice, a very thin piece of clay. This is going to be the white clay that is in between the slices. And then I'm adding some extra clay around, so I get a nice triangle. Uh, the idea is to have a, perf a perfect triangle so I can keep the rounded shape inside and still easily be able to reduce the whole cane. And it's much easier to reduce a triangle than a teardrop, especially with Fimo. I've read somewhere that some other brands are more firm, but Fimo is on the middle scale. I would say it's not like the softest of all clays, but it's rather soft. In any case, I'm reducing it so that I can so that I can cut out five slices. Here you cannot really see it, but I'm cutting out the ends, uh, which have been squished down and un are not really usable. I'm cutting it in five, and then I'm forming a half circle. I'm just pushing everything together and then reducing again, so I can cut this in two to make around. Just keep on reducing until it's long enough. And then again cut out the ends because you are not going to be able to use them. I used to rule at this time, I don't always do, but I didn't want to mess up in front of the camera really, that's the reason. And I used a toothpick to make an indent in the middle to add some of the white clay. Because usually um, citrus fruit always have some more white in the middle, so that's just it. And then I add the zest with some extra white clay. And finally the zest with some yellow clay. Just be sure to cut it properly so there are no um, overlapping edges and then proceed to reduce it. If there are any air bubbles, cut them out and reduce until you have the desired size. If you have never done any cane, this might be a little magical for you. <laughs> and it's really um, something that is great with polymer clay and that is really proper to that medium and to glass. I mean, you can do, po you can do that kind of canes with glass. I also made a whole grapefruit, for that I just used a round piece of clay, of yellow clay, and I sandwiched it between two sandpapers and I add some texture, and then I added some green, and again more texture, and this is pastel, pink pastel that I'm brushing on top of it to give it that nice blush that grapefruit usually has. And I made a mold out of it. This is really um, optional, you don't have to do this, but it's um, how you can maintain a round shape for the half grapefruit. Now I'm making the inside of it, so I cut out a cylinder of the cane, I'm cutting it too, and putting it in the mold and using a needle tool, I'm adding bit by bit the texture of the grapefruit. Don't forget at the end to put a hole in the middle and just add a few bits and dots here and there. You don't have to make it in a mold, you can also make it directly on the tile, but if you do, it's going to flatten a bit uh, more um, the fruit slice. Not the fruit slice, but the fruit half. And I added some extra pastel. For extra fruit slices, I used the leftover of the grapefruit flesh and I cut out quarters and then I textured them with the needle tool. 
You can also use a pin, a needle or a toothpick. It's starting to rain here now, I don't know if you can hear it. If you do, I really apologize. I cannot wait to make that voiceover, so mm, sorry. I also made a plate. As you can see, I used uh, some cellophane to have rounded edges and a uh, round cutter. And I'm just smoothing out the edges a bit with my finger, baking it and making a mold out of it. I then put in a thin piece of white clay and push it down with ball ended tools. I cut off the excess clay and then um, smooth the inside a little bit more with the bowl and the tools. I then bake inside the mold and after baking I just sand so the plate gets smooth and clean and until I'm happy with it. And finally, I'm just adding all the fruit slices inside of the bowl. I added some liquid clay for it first, and then I'm adding bits by bits different fr fruit slices. Sorry, As you can see, I made orange, but as I said um, when working on the clay, it's the same technique. And here you go! I very very much hope you liked this video, even though the voiceover was maybe not so good. I, I did it six times, I think. It's driving me insane. Anyway, I really hope you liked it. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up, maybe subscribe. I highly um, recommend you my last video, the miniature popsicles, as they were really enjoyed by many people. And I very much hope to see you in my next video. Bye!